I said open. Open, you filth monger. Ugh. Uh, okay. Ow. Oh, hi. Now that I found out that the secondary fire on that actually does something, it makes it actually a lot more effective. Doctor's bag, you are my friend. You are my friend. Ah. Thank you, designers of this game. Thank you so much for making a subpar product. I mean, honestly, games made out like the Duke Nukem Engine had a lot of possibilities. It was really cool, but it's just really unfortunate that like there were the games using the engine like this really weren't that great or creative. Like, Doom had tons of great, um, like, Doom clone stuff. Like, Strife? That's pretty awesome for the time. I mean, at the time, video games weren't that deep. They were actually kind of boring. So, I don't know. I mean, it... I think if you have games that copy off of your engine that are really nice, I think it can really work for you, but... Oh, thank you. Six health. What the hell is that? Secondary fireworks better. No, not really. I didn't want to do that. No, let's go back to game. There we go, thank you. Okay, so this is the door that I wanted to... Hello, Mr. Head. Alright, now I have the keys, and now I can go ahead and do the rest of this BS. Convoluted. I mean, this is kind of cool. They kind of have the lighting right and all this stuff. But. Super armor, which does nothing. No, seriously, super armor does nothing at all. It's just like, you know, oh, it protects against minus three damage. So you'll get three less damage. Ooh, spooky fire and swirling vortexes. Uh oh. Is this the part I'm thinking of? Oh, yeah, this part. Oh my god, so annoying. But so is me telling you that every part is so annoying. Well, whatever, screw you. Alright, let's get out some dynamite, because really that's the only way to go about this. Ooh, spooky runes. Poorly, poorly, poorly drawn. Let's get out these. I forget which side opens first. I believe it's that side. Oh! 
Get that very clear. Are we green? Sip green. You make an annoying sound, and I will hear it. Jeez, look at those shells. Um, and I will hear it throughout the rest of the level, and it's freaking annoying. <laughs> level complete. <laughs> Boring. Next level. I press the A key. Now it's time to end this chapter. I don't know if I'll be able to end it in just this one... It might take like three parts, just to warn you ahead of time. Because this is like the lamest boss fight I've ever fought in a game. And uh, I've fought and killed many bosses. What? Okay, seriously, I'm, I'm here to fight a boss, not fight you, you freaking jerk off. Thank you. And you're not dead. Yeah, go to hell. Alright. Let's do the typical thing, go around, collect up all the ammunition you can, the boots of jumping. Is that TNT? TNT is really not going to help at this juncture, because this boss just just doesn't even give a shit about any of that. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Also, there's a little bit of plot here, which I don't really understand the, what's going on with that at all. Move, yeah, yeah. No. Show yourself. Show yourself. Says Ophelia. Personally, it doesn't sound like he's like having some sad. Moment. It sounds more like he's like, oh, oh yeah, Ophelia, you're crucified. That's what turns me on. Okay, yeah, you can die now. Yes, you sound like you're constantly throwing up. I get it. You kind of make me want to throw up. No, no laser eye beams. Ouch. Yes, that hurts. I just had a shooter. Well, that concludes an unexciting boss. And look at that, it just goes straight to credits. There's no like, with the loss of Ophelia, he now knows that he must dive into hell to rip out Satan's asshole through his mouth. Uh, I don't know. Oh, look, there you go. Cultist language developed by Daniel Bernstein. Remember, Remember who that is.
Yeah, blood.com is long since gone. Now I think it's probably some fetish porn site. GTIS producer, lead atmosphere monger. <clears throat> yeah, there's a reason why your company's out of business when you have lead atmosphere monger as a job title. Game designer can't blame you. Project manager can't blame you. Build engine editor and tools, not so much of a problem. Game programming, not so bad. Level design is decent. The the art's not bad. Character modeling is pretty boring. Sound development guys need to be smacked around a little bit. Is this just is this cycling now? Is this yeah, it's just cycling. I'm Monolith Entertainment. See, GT shouldn't even put their name on this. Like, I know that they fixed a lot of things with, you know, them coming into it. But, you know what? Let's just... No, I'm not going to the third one. There we go. Let's start with this level. You're going to need a bigger boat. Wee, wee, wee. Yes, this is the beginning of chapter two. How very exciting and enthralling. Okay, yeah. Uh, Pitchfork you. Actually, I'll just run away like a little bitch. Six health. Yes, this weapon? Ultimately pointless. Apparently, I just lost it. I don't know how that happened, but apparently, the second fire makes him go ju -ju -ju -ju, and then it disappears. And that's the end of that. So, with our six health, let's go explorate and. Oh, it's a shark, man. Yeah, the first time these happened, which I'm surprised we didn't see them earlier. I was like, uh, what the fuck? You're going to need a bigger boat. You're going to need a bigger health bar. I'm going to need more patience. But either way, this has been Let's Play Blood Plasma Pack with me, Morak Dice. See you later.